Hi everyone, my name is Jane Brown and I'm the Sage Intact Manager over at CompuData. In this video, I'll be going over some of the inter-entity functionality within Sage Intact. Specifically, I'll be showing a funds transfer between two entities and how Intact automates the inter-entity transactions behind that funds transfer. If you're ever interested in learning more about Sage Intact, you can come out to our blog at computadacom slash blog, where you can view a variety of videos on a variety of topics. To start, I'm going to come out to my Sage Intact demo environment, and I'll be taking a look at the inter-entity account mapping within the company module of Sage Intact. The inter-entity account mapping is where do to do froms are established and how the system knows how to react when an enter entity transaction is created. Specifically, we'll be focusing on entity 100 and entity 200 in this funds transfer. So to start, I'll come to my cash management module and look at my checking accounts here. And this is just to show you that my first checking account labeled 100 underscore CHK belongs to entity 100. And my second checking account, 200 underscore CHK, belongs to entity 200. So now I'm going to come in and create a funds transfer. And I'll be transferring funds from that first checking account into my second checking account. And we'll make the transfer $7,000. We'll go ahead and hit save. So now if I come back into my $7,000 funds transfer and I look at my posting details, the top section of these posting details show the journal that I just entered on the screen we were on previously, where we have $7,000 leaving checking account one and going into checking account two. But the other transaction that happens here is this enter entity journal. So what the system does is it looks to the transaction that we've just created and it recognizes that it's hit two separate entities and based on our inter-entity account mapping plan that we reviewed earlier, it determines how to create this inter-entity journal. This eliminates the need to create manual do to do froms when you have a transaction that hits two different entities.